Let's talk about reading a chord chart. Now, in reading a chord chart, there's a few things you have to know that are vital. What I did was I wrote down what a chord chart would actually look like. So you're looking at it from the aspect of the guitar like this, okay? When you're looking at it like this, you've got to remember that the frets are horizontal. So the horizontal left to right are the frets, and the up and down represent the strings. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Again, okay, so you're looking at it in terms of how the guitar is set up. Okay, the top part, X and O, if you ever seen X or an O, O meaning open, um, the X are the strings that you're not going to play. So I've got a few examples here of some chords that I wrote out that you can see by example um, how to read the chord chart. So again, let's start with the top one, which is E minor. So you'll see the numbers in the circles, and those represent the fingers that are used. One and two are the fingers that are used. You can see that they're on the second fret. Okay. You can also see that where the strings that are open, and that is the sixth string there, the third, second, and the first string are, are all open. So there's your E minor. So how do we create that? First finger here, second finger behind it, and the rest of the strings are open. There's your E minor. Now keep in mind that when you do see chords written, a lot of times if you do see the little M there, for instance, that's going to be minor. The next one I'm going to show you is a D major. Now keep in mind that your 6th and your 5th string are both X'd out, means you're not going to play them. However, the 4th string is open, okay, that is your D string. So we're going to go ahead and put our 1st finger here on the 3rd string, 2nd fret, our 3rd finger on the 2nd string, 3rd fret, and our 2nd finger on the 1st string, 2nd fret. What does it look like? 1st finger, second finger, and third. There's your D major. 